How's it going everyone and welcome to another loot video. In this loot video I'll be opening 1000 birds nest with seeds. The reason why I chose to open 1000 birds nest with seeds is because I'm personally planning on trying out some giant mole for some seeds for some farming gains but I'm not really sure if it's really worth camping a giant mole for seeds so I want to open about 1000 nests and see on average which seeds I should expect to get. So let's get started and we'll see what I get. After looting about 1000 birds nests that I got from exchanging mole skins and claws at Vibeson, this is all the good seeds that I managed to get. Now notice that there's no pretty much any fruit seeds and that's because whenever you guys exchange mole skins and claws at Vibeson, you guys can't get those for some reason when you guys are looting the birds nest. But these seeds should be fine as well. Now these are going to be all the rates for the seeds over here. So the rates are pretty low, the rates for spirit trees is 0 0.4 and I managed to get uh, 3 of these. Let's see, uh, magic trees very low as well. I didn't even get a single magic seed over here. I did manage to get a ton of view seeds, which I believe is pretty lucky. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to count out how much experience I'm going to get from these. And we'll see if it's actually worth camping the mole on Iron Man or Ultimate Iron Man to get some seeds. After counting everything up, this is roughly about an estimate of what you guys should expect to receive from 1000 birds nest. Now this will vary hugely depending on which style that you guys use, for example, if you guys have 99 range as well as full void, diamond bolts, and pretty much almost the max range setup that you guys can get, you guys will be able to get about up to 30 kills per hour, so that's going to be roughly about like 65 nests per hour, and that's roughly about like 2 mole skins per each kill that you guys get, and that's going to be about 15 hours for 1k nests. With Derox is going to be a huge difference because with Derox is way much faster and you guys should expect to be able to get about 40 to 50 kills but that's with max melee. That means 99 attack as well as 99 strength, Derox, uh, Fury, D-Boots, all that maximum setup. And you guys will be able to get about 120 nests per hour and that's almost double the amount of what you guys should be able to receive with range. And that's about like 16 hours for 1k nests. Now if we round everything up and divide everything, you guys will be able to get roughly about 18k XP farming per hour if you guys are using range, or if you guys are using Derox, you guys will be able to get roughly about like 34k experience farming per hour. Now this is actually not that bad, I expect it to be way much less whenever I was counting my seeds, but of course you know it will vary depending on how lucky you are, and this is only an estimate from about 1000 nests. If you guys were be able to get about like 10k nests, it might be a huge difference from this. It might be way much less, it might be way much more experience. But like I said, this is roughly an estimate amount of 1000 nests. So I hope you guys found this video pretty helpful. It was really helpful for me because I was really curious to see what the experience rates are from Giant Mole. And it, on average, I would say it's actually not too bad. Zolver of course is way much better for seeds. But for those people that don't really want to do soul, where you guys can always do chant mole, it's actually not too bad to do for farming experience on an Iron Man. 